Good Friday evening to you. Richard Scott here with the forecast update. Got some changes coming up over the weekend. Next week, though, looking kind of unsettled towards the middle of the week, but starting off Christmas Day, pretty good. Here is visibility tonight. This is, again, Friday night at 9.45, this recording update. Visibility has been slightly reduced for some areas. Again, any fog tonight should be pretty patchy with the developing south breeze overnight. No current advisories in effect though for our area. And here's a look at radar. Again, conditions are pretty quiet. No rainfall currently ongoing. All the rain is to our northwest and that will continue to organize and move in here. By the time we go into tomorrow morning, rain will start to become a good possibility. Here's a look from Tuscaloosa this evening. Currently dry out there. Went out south at 8 miles per hour. And again, the temperatures continue to rise. 66 now in Tuscaloosa. By the time you wake up tomorrow morning, you'll likely be in the upper 60s. So again, a warming night tonight. There's warm, moist air infection coming off the Gulf. And again, there's the showers we had. Again, those are pretty much out of here for now. But more rain coming. 70 in Meridian. Again, this is 945 on Friday night. By the time you watch this, it could be cooler as that cold front does come in uh, pretty early Saturday morning. Here's your forecast on Saturday. We'll start off the day with showers and thunderstorms, and uh, those begin to thin out around lunch to 3 p.m., and temperatures will fall. In fact, if temperatures go the wrong way during the day, tomorrow the cold front should arrive sometime in the mid-morning with falling temperatures after that. Here is our current dew point against 66 in Tuscaloosa. It is a very muggy air mass, but again, not far away. Here comes the cold air, and that stuff is coming directly our way. This upper air ridge over the southeast moving out, trough coming in, meaning cooler air about to take over on uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Here's our future cast again Saturday. Line of showers and storms coming on through. These will be short lived, not going to last very long. By lunchtime, most of the area is already dry. Still some clouds sticking around for uh, Saturday into Sunday as well. Temperatures will be quite cool on Sunday. Highs in the 50s, upper 40s for the 278 corridor. How much rain are we talking about uh, Saturday morning? We are looking at generally about a half inch to one inch across our local area. And Christmas Day, how about a cold looking day? Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 40s by mid-afternoon. I do expect a freeze and a frost for many areas starting off Christmas morning. So again, our forecast on this Friday night, lows in the low 60s, cloudy, some drizzle possible. Tomorrow, we top out in the mid-60s, good chance for showers and some thunderstorms early in the day, then cooler in the afternoon. Christmas Eve looking good with some clouds still hanging around, but by the time we go in the evening hours, should notice some clearing. Monday for Christmas Day, plenty of sunshine. Temperatures topping out in the upper 40s, another freeze Monday night. And Wednesday, Thursday, looks like some rain begins to move back in. Some shower activity. Highs at that point will be back in the 50s. Again, that is your webcast update on this Friday night, December 22nd. Uh, we're going to be taking a few days off coming up this weekend and on Monday to be with family. Uh, so, again, we'll have another update coming up on Tuesday. I'll be back on my normal work schedule on Tuesday, December 26th. So hope you guys have a great Merry Christmas, a, a safe holiday coming up. Again, uh, we're talking about some cool air, but this year is going to be dry for Christmas, so no problems from the weather.